So we talk about the, <laughs> the sad of the bushfires, it's not just the people that suffer, it's, it's all of the animals and this is just heartbreaking to come along here and the fence line's just littered with animals that have tried to get out and uh, they've broken through the fence here trying to get through and look at this, it's just, it, it's disturbing, it is really, really disturbing, that is just such <laughs> a waste, um, you know. That's just terrible. Like, where could they have gone? <laughs> there was so much smoke and fire, and I didn't, I didn't think there was going to be any alive. And <laughs> they've all got these amazing personalities, and they're all individual, and people don't understand what, what they're really like, and how much they add to the environment. And you know, you've got little Heidi Ho who just chases you around for hugs and. They're incredibly emotional, sensitive animals. They're my family. It's like living, it's like losing your family. Which I didn't think we were going to be saved. I thought we were going to burn alive. And as we were, actually, as we were leaving the property, the area we were, the area we were sheltering in was on fire. And we could see the property burning from the front and we already knew it was around the back and the sides and if we didn't have that river, I'm not even sure we would be here. We need access to medic medical items that we cannot get without vet prescriptions and in a fire zone the vets aren't available and the animals are going to die. Well last night at nine o'clock through a friend's Facebook page I learned of the effort to get um, medical supplies down here so this morning I left home at about 5.30, went to the airport and picked up some medical supplies for the kangaroos uh, that were specially flown in from Adelaide and that's what I've delivered here um, along with some other um, medical supplies I picked up along the way. I don't have many tears left because it's been a lot so I'm 